Um, he doesn't seem as angry. He seems to regret what he did at the beginning. He seemed quite like miserable, sort of, but now he seems sad. I think at the beginning of the film, he's like a thug, and he acts like he just doesn't care about anything. He's arguing with his mum and stuff. But then when he realises what he's done, he like you can tell that he does start to care, and then obviously he cares enough to disappear off the face of the earth. So like you can tell that he goes from like a big hard man to like someone who just can't cope. So. Um, I really liked it, like the, you know, you didn't know whether he was going to jump into the canal and sort of, you didn't know whether he's run away or he's killed himself and the use of the news reader was really good, it helped. Yeah, I liked it. I can't work out whether I think he's going to kill himself, something like that, or if he's going to like turn his life around. Do you know what I mean? But um, I really like the way that you don't actually know what's going to happen because it leaves it in suspense. At first, I kind of hated him. I kind of thought he was a bit, a bit like, I don't think he was very nice, especially when he was like beating up the guy. But then towards the end, I did feel sorry for him and like just a bit when he, when he was like really lonely, kind of on his own and stuff. I kind of felt sorry for him. And, yeah, I'd say connected with him. I thought, like, definitely, like, yeah. Um, yeah, in the film, I felt that you could really, like, feel the pain and suffering that this character was going through, um, especially with the Dutch tilt shot, because I felt with, as it was, like, spinning, it, like, created the image that this guy was also, like, spinning in his mind, like, going round. I thought it worked well. My favourite part was, uh, was a lot of things that I really liked. Some of the shots were really good, especially like the bit where you heard on the radio and then you had the Dutch tilt and the bright white light. I really liked that. Um, uh, but uh, I really liked the ending, the way it just cut off. I thought that was cool. But my favourite part was uh, the jump sequence with the music. I thought that was really good. Cool. So, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was a great film. I thought the way it was shot and uh, the way it was edited and the techniques she used really like, helped to tell the story and to reflect the emotions of uh, the characters. I thought it was good. Yeah. Yes, I did like it because it was action-packed as the guy died in it and the suspense of what was going to happen and whether he was going to get found out and what he was going to do when he was found out. And also I liked the sound effects when he found out that the person had died and like, when the radio was going and also the editing where it went really white and sort of turned around. Yeah, I thought you could like fully understand what was um, happening and like you can understand I thought the radio bit worked well because it helps us to understand what's happened. Um, I think the film's put together really well. Yeah, I could follow everything really well, although it didn't, you didn't need to explain it because it was just really easy to follow. And um, it's all, yeah, it was all pretty much. Yeah, I really liked it. 